Hi there, I'm Casey Gray, Supreme Grand Master of the Seekers of Caliban Successor Chapter, and this is 40k Expertise, Episode 23. The Dark Angels are the Emperor's first legion, his OG Angels of Death. They're packed full of Dark Age technology and conspiracy theories, and are actually too loyal if you think about it. Their defining feature is the lingering trauma of fully half the Brotherhood turning against Lion Dad and getting their homeworld exploded back during the Heresy days. They like to keep that under wraps, and they wouldn't call themselves the Unforgiven if they weren't pretty embarrassed about that little faux pas. As far as they know, they killed their own Primarch, which is a pretty bad fuck-up for a Space Marine Legion, and the number of times they've doubled down on lying about it is so large it doesn't even fit on a calculator. There's a body buried in the backyard, and you just know that at any moment someone is going to finally find it, and then you're in deep trouble. Of course, that gigantic body is actually alive and well under their very feet, deep within the asteroid fortress known as the Rock. One day, the Watchers in the Dark will finish brewing a cup of coffee fit for a Primarch and wake him up. But until then, the insane paranoia of the Legion means they're going to keep popping up the second anyone says Fallen to make sure they don't get back up again. I do mean Legion, by the way, because even though the Codex told everyone to splinter off into small individual chapters, every Dark Angel's successor still comes home to the family reunions at the Rock to whisper secrets to each other about who they can torture for information. There are three types of Dark Angel. The Green Wing, who are the rank and file making up the majority of Marines. The Raven Wing, who ride black motorcycles so they can go find the traitors before anyone sees something they shouldn't. And the Death Wing, who are a big bone-colored fuck-off fist to get the job done and are so well stocked on the extremely rare, ancient, and valuable Terminator armor that every single one of them in the entire company gets a set. When the Ravenwing locate the heretics and drop the beacons, the Deathwing are the nightly boys in the teleportarium who deep strike in and show people what the first company of the first chapter of Space Marines can do. 